So you're looking to travel long term and you're trying to find the best possible backpack. Well, we got you covered. This video we're reviewing the Wandered Provoke. Now we spent well over a year looking for, researching, buying, returning backpacks. We needed the perfect backpacks for our trip around the world as digital nomads. So Wander Provoke came up. We bought it. We're happy. We're excited to share this review with you. Now the one we're reviewing today is the 21 liter Wander Provoke. There is also a light. There is a 31 liter and a 41 liter. Now we chose the 21 liter for a specific reason. And this might be of interest to you. Since we are traveling carry-on only, or that's the goal, we needed something to be our personal item. And guess what? 21 liter fits perfectly under a seat in a plane. So let's take a look at these. Now we're probably gonna use Megan's backpack because A, it's a nicer color, and B, mine's pretty stealth. So hard to see on camera. I went to school for product design and looks are also part of the package. So as you can see, this is a very sexy looking bag. It's got a nice little light logo here. Hard to see, it doesn't really pop, but feels rugged, really fits the design and aesthetic of the bag. Now, if we start with the outside and the front, we have a flat pocket here. This is very thin for light items like paperwork, a poncho, a raincoat, a bag cover, a rain protector. Zippers are solid. If you wanted to compress the bag, you have lots of available straps that you can use to tighten it further and compress. Got one at the bottom as well. Moving on to the side. Another strap, we use this one a lot to bring our tripod on the planes with us. And you have a cool side pocket here, which again, you can store something or if you want, you can open this up. We've got this cool breathable mesh here. And for this video only, we have a, uh, a Spore Aid, which is like South America's version of Gatorade. It's cheaper, tastes the same, pretty cool. But look at the size, pretty large, fits just fine on the side of your backpack. So, and again, when you're not using it, just compress it back up, helps it stay the right size when you're on a plane. Sometimes we just clip our tripods here, have one leg in here, two on the side, and it kind of sticks out a little bit to about here. Now, moving on to the other side, you have straps and another pocket here, but this one is different. This one is not for water, this is for storage. So this is a side access pocket. And so you can reach in, grab your camera, pull it out, get access if you need to. If you don't want to use that, you don't have to. It also has a zipper and you can store more stuff, which we have some microphone muffs in here. Let's close that back up. You have another zipper here. Open it up. You can put away other things. You have this key strap. You can attach more things to it. Tools, other little knickknacks, everything you need. Moving on to the back. You have these really great ergonomic straps. These straps are not only cushy and feel just right, they've got these little loops in here that you can then clip things onto any other extra gear, keys, anything basically with a hook. On the straps themselves, you have these adjustable sternum straps. These are really helpful for giving you that extra support when you have the backpack on. And there's little pull tabs here that you can pull right off. And then you can pop them on on these rails at any point to adjust because everyone's got different body types. At the bottom, you have your waist straps. These are so helpful to make sure your back is not killing you at the end of the day. So strap these on, very padded, very cushiony, super helpful. Take it off. And really cool is you have more functionality. You have these zippered pockets, right? You can put extra stuff. We've got a few things in here. This is for the Osmo pocket, basically for random things. And it's great because they're there, they're easy access. Although they're so camouflaged here that you might forget there's items in here actually, but really great. Now, if we move on 
Talk about the padding. You got three big pads, two for your upper back and shoulders, one for your lower back. Really big emphasis on back support, great ergonomics for your posture throughout the day if you're wearing this long term. Now, the other and the coolest thing ever is you've got this strap right here, right? Doesn't come off part of the backpack. This can go on your roller luggage, which is really great. Strap it on top. But what's hiding behind here is a secret pocket. Unzip this and you've got a stealth secret pocket for your passport, for your boarding pass, for your Disney credit card and a dollar. And yeah, it's just great. So secret pocket, always useful when you're traveling for safety and security. On the bottom, you'll notice we have another pocket. Super useful, really great for a rain cover. I also use it for my external battery charger. The amount of functionality on here is just amazing. You really have something for everything. Now we're gonna move over to the top. Now a cool thing about the top is you have this other little extra pocket up here before you get to the roll top area. More storage about the size of a passport, which is really nice and kind of kind of cushy in here. So any important documents you can keep in here, kind of out of reach. At the top, you have this handle. Now the cool thing about this handle, again, the design really cool. It says, wander more, worry less. It's really cool, fits in line with the whole brand of wandered. And these detach to give you access to your pocket and your roll top. They'll magnetically attach again. Boom, great. So now we're gonna look at the roll top. Roll top right now is fully compressed and there's a little attachment latch here. You take this little latch over here, slide it out of the loop, bring it down, you make sure your handle, your magnetic handles are not attached. You go just open that up, really simple. Now you have access to your roll top. And the really cool thing about this backpack is, like other ones of this kind, you roll it out, you've got these little Velcro tabs that it attaches to, and now the size of what you can fit in your backpack just increased. Very useful when bringing in more stuff, grabbing snacks, things you need to bring extra, the rest of the stuff in your hotel, just stuff everything in here. So then when you're done, you roll it back up. If there's some stuff in it, it'll still attach at certain points. You have multiple loop attachment points at different measurements. And so even if it's still a little full, you can still put the latch on. There you go. Let's get inside the bag. Access inside the bag, really easy. Wanted to reiterate how great the quality of the zippers are. And the loops attached to them, especially this one, is perfectly made for your fingers. So easy to find, quick access. You're gonna grab it. Boom. And access. So looking inside the key compartment in here, you have another access point into your roll top, which you have a lot of room here for stuff. So everything in here plus what it rolls out to. You have little loops if you wanted to attach stuff to it as well. We do that sometimes. Moving on to the camera compartment. Now this is fully modular. This comes with the photography bundle cube. This is what we wanted to purchase because we are traveling as digital nomads and YouTubers, so we need a room for all our gear. So this is really cool. You can, again, all Velcro. These are typical to most camera cubes. You have a door that you can use or not, or you can close off on the side. So if you wanted to close up the camera cube, you can. You can also remove this if you wanted to do anything special with it separately. Let's go ahead and take it out for you guys so you can see. So cool, opens up. Again, this attaches in here if you wanted to use the side axis, if that's the kind of run and gun style you do. Unattach it, pull it out. The photography bundle, really cool, really solid, durable, protects your gear, has a handle to carry, has these little loops, so you can throw a strap on it, and carry it more like a little satchel. Just like that. You can open it up, reattach it. Moving on to the clamshell top. Here you got more pocket access. Again, just access for a little more knickknacks, 
storage for more knickknacks. Megan, oh, got some makeup in here. Close it. Little pockets. You have this little latch, and this is really important for a lot of people traveling nowadays. You are probably bringing a laptop, whether you're traveling for business, pleasure, you're a YouTube vlogger or a digital nomad traveling the world and working at the same time. Your laptop is key. You want to keep it safe. It needs to be safe. It's the most important probably piece of equipment you have and you want somewhere safe to store it. In here, you have two sleeves. You have a larger one, which will fit on this 21 liter up to a 15 inch laptop. I have a 14 inch, so it's perfect, but actually I keep my iPad in here, which I use as a second monitor. And then I put my 14 inch laptop in here. And what I love about it is it's kind of thick padded here, right? And then on the back side of the clamshell is your back padding. So your laptop is secure. So now that we reviewed Megan's backpack, I'm gonna put on my backpack, take it off, and then show you everything I carry in it anytime we go to the airport. Here it is. Here's what it looks like on me. Waist straps, helps a ton. Adjustable straps, super helpful. Right now, it's a little heavy because I stuffed the crap out of it before we go on a flight. And I like to have my most expensive equipment on me if possible. You start with the roll top, attach that, open it up. I've got my trusty switch because I need to be entertained. Headphones, the cords for them. Batteries for my Sony camera. AirPods. Dongle for my Mac laptop. What else we got in here? We have what used to be the case for my drone. It is now full of other knickknacks because I lost it. My drone controller. That is a lot of stuff. Just in the roll top. Attached to one of the many loop points I have hooked here, my Logitech mouse. Usually keep some cash in the secret compartment. Right now, cash is out. At the bottom compartment where Megan has her rain cover, I have my external charger as far as the straps. I have a couple of extra rubber wedding rings because we don't travel with our actual wedding rings. Between the clamshell top and the roll top. Passport, usually put my boarding pass there. Flip it over. On this section right here, which you'll notice there's a little bit of a slash. I think I ran into something and kind of give it a little bit of a horizontal cut. Everything still works, zipper's fine, but slashed it. I keep my rain jacket. On the side access point, usually when you want to have access to your camera, you can open this up. I choose not to because I like to have my camera gear. I don't want someone to come in and just like open it up, take my camera out and steal it. I use it as separate storage for my SD cards and I keep this part of the camera compartment closed because I only wanted access through the clamshell, which is on my back. Again, these are really useful. Makes it really easy to get access and open up the clamshell. Mouse pad. Rain cover. Now this backpack is freaking sweet because it is water resistant on the outside. Super cool but it is not waterproof 100%. Now I've never had issues with like water really getting in here, but as extra protection, have a rain cover. So you'll notice there's a couple of empty spaces here. One here, this is for the lens that I'm using to currently film. And this one is for the camera body I'm using. Cables that I use all the time. So cell phone, laptop, polarized and Tinted lenses for my camera, lenses for my drone to protect it from the sun and get really good shots. 
laptop charger, two external SSD drives that are awesome, Rode Video Mic Plus Pro. I think I said that right, but this thing is awesome. It's big, made the compartment fit just for it, and it's cable, and my lens. All right, so getting into the clamshell, it is very heavy and as you'll notice, I don't really keep much in these pockets. Right now, nothing at all, actually. I'm pretty OCD when it comes to being delicate with my equipment, so I saved this space just for my MacBook Pro, which is a little tight in here. I have it in the sleeve that it should not be in, but it keeps it pretty safe. You might recognize the logo here, but anyways, 14 inch MacBook Pro with a cover fits just fine, even in the tight sleeve that's meant for a tablet. I didn't put the cover on the bottom because too tight. Here I have a 12 inch iPad Pro. And again, I have it with my Apple Pencil attached here. I have this little sleeve here to put the pencil in. I don't like that it fluffs up. I don't like the idea of it compressing against my laptop. Fit all this with the keyboard case. I tend to use this as a second monitor. Everything that I fit in here. Super useful, awesome backpack. We've been using these backpacks for six months now and we can barely find any faults. We've taken them up mountains, experienced different climates with them. If you guys watch any of our travel vlogs or guides, you will see this backpack everywhere. We love it. You watch other YouTubers, you'll probably see this backpack. It is one of the best. Now, as far as flaws, anything I can think of, there is one, and the reason I reviewed Megan's backpack is because I lost the sternum strap to mine. I don't know what happened to it. It's more my fault, but if there was somehow one end fully attached to this, or there was a place to store it where it clips on and it can't come off, that would be great. I'm a little forgetful when I have a lot on my mind, so I guess that's the only fault I could think of that could be improved. They tend to be on the pricier side, but they're totally worth it. Now, if you're interested in these, there is a link down below for you guys. It's an affiliate link. We may get a small commission at no cost to you, and it'll help support our channel. Hope this review was useful for you guys. We used them for six months. We wanted to give a real review of what it's like to travel with these as digital nomads, travel YouTubers, just overall people with tech. Comment down below if you guys own the Wonder Provoke, if you guys own any other backpack that you like and you think is better than this one. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Want to check out one of the coolest places we've ever been to with these backpacks? Check out our Japan video playlist. 